Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special surprise for you today. Ladies and gentlemen, Isabella Ritter. Bonjour, mes amis. Bonjour. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, so today I'm clearly not behind the camera. I'm going to be in front of the camera. And I'm going to be making some uh, oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. So this isn't my recipe. This is actually a recipe that um, we found on one of our little adventures. Um, it was on, we were on a road trip and um, we were in Boston and we were just walking, doing the, what was the little trail the called? The Freedom Trail. The Freedom Trail. And um, so it was kind of hot that day because it was during the summer and we needed a little What, snack. South Carolina hot though, was it? That's true. It wasn't Boston South. hot. It was Boston hot. So Caveat. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, we needed a little snack, so we stopped into this place called Potbelly, um, like a little sandwich shop, and it was really cute. Um, and my mom and I got these cookies, and these were the oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, and they were divine. Divine. <laughs> divine. Magnifique. So we, we were like, we have to find this recipe because they're, they're just so good. So I looked up a uh, copycat recipe, and I've been making them pretty much ever since. They're good. They're very good. Yeah. And usually I'm not one for like oatmeal, but I mean, these are very good, so. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so to get started, we're gonna do our dry ingredients. So we have one cup of packed brown sugar. Okay. And then we're gonna do, I'll just go as we, okay. as we go. All right, so one cup of packed brown sugar. And the, wait, wait, and a, the recipe is down below, right? Yeah, the recipe is going to be down and below. And what else should they do as they go down to find the recipe? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when you go down there, make sure to like. And subscribe. And then turn on the little bell. For the, for for the, the jingle bell, right? The jingle bell? Yeah. And it plays Christmas music. <laughs> Christmas and July. Yours doesn't, you better check your settings on your computer, right? All right. <laughs> so we have one cup of packed brown sugar. <laughs> And then we're going to do um, one cup of just plain white sugar. Ooh. And for baking, obviously, it's a little more precise than what my, what my dad does. So. Are, you, are you saying that I'm not precise? No, I'm just saying, you know, Sounds like cooking is saying. more, you know. Can't slop Ooh. it around, though. Right. Can't cook with your gut and feeling. And use, I use the force when I cook. You're saying you can't do that. Unless you're a Jedi cook. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. So that was one cup of uh, just plain white sugar. Uh huh. And then we're going to do two sticks of butter, which is just one cup. Are those, so is that salted uh, butter? Yeah. It's uh, room temperature. So they're pretty soft. Is it salted or it unsalted? Free. It's salted. Okay. And this kind of comes in later. Because the recipe calls for salt, but I usually add a little less just because I don't really like my cookies that salty. But okay. not too much less where it's <clears throat> off the recipe, though, if you get my meaning. Well, I wonder if, if you use unsalted butter and then you, you, you could control the salt then. You know what I mean? That's if that's true. why they do that. Yeah, probably. So, but but, but this, this is, is the way you do it. And yeah, uh, they turn the out good, so we're going to do it the way you do so, it. So, all right. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, now we're gonna mix it like medium high speed until it's all like mixed together. That's not too loud. Huh? I said that's not bad. No. And you don't want any like big chunks. It needs it should be smooth and all together. I do. Hmm. I like uh, actually. I I got to where I would uh, when I was like in Abu Dhabi working. I would uh, the Brits love oatmeal, I guess, in the morning, and I would uh, mm. I'd eat. I'd, of course, I jazzed it up with a little bit of honey and some raisins and some uh, walnuts. Yeah. But just straight up oatmeal. Uh, yeah. Did they do something? I think they put milk in it to cook it. All right. So this should be pretty good. It's all mixed together. So it's not liquidy. It's not, no. That, it's not liquidy. 
but kind it's kind of clumped. You call it wet, you know. Okay. So it's, right. it's pretty much infused the butter all through it. You yeah. Know, right? So it's kind of clumped. It's like a. If you wanted, you could just like take a little spoonful of that. Mm. But don't. Okay. All right. So now we are gonna add in the eggs. Especially and not it's, after you put the eggs on it, huh? I don't want to do that. Right. Okay, got it. So now we're going to add in the eggs. Mm -hmm. Just two regular eggs. My dad always gets on to me about breaking the eggs. Well, your dad's standing right here. You're talking about them right in front of him like that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> because he thinks... So I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> so just add in the eggs. He's like, you need to break the membrane. <laughs> yeah, you crack it. You just kind of just split Make it. Make sure you don't get any shells in there. Oh. I've done that a few times. Can't but tell. it's hard to... It's yeah. good calcium. <laughs> Is that what they're made of? The shells? The shells, yeah, it's calcium. Ooh. All right. All right, so now just kind of on a slow little... Just adding in the eggs. And it's a little wet, obviously. Just make sure you get it all in there. So clearly this is wet, right? Now it's wet. Okay, wet yeah. <laughs> So now we got all of that mixed in. Okay. So now the final step to the wet ingredients is just a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, right? Teaspoon. Teaspoon. There you teaspoon. go. I got I get them mixed up a lot, so. All right. coming out the side a little bit. All right. Since it's coming out the side, I'll just do a little less. Well, you've made these enough. I trust your judgment. <laughs> They're good. Okay. So now it says just mix it in on the recipe. So just a slow, you can't just use a spoon or whatever to mix that in. So it looks creamy now. It's just kind of like, yeah. a, like a frosting almost, huh? Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So that'll be it for the wet ingredients. Um, we'll come back here in a second for the dry ingredients. Okay. Hello. So we're back, and I actually made a little mistake on the wet mixture. It was actually two teaspoons of vanilla. So make sure you add that into that. So, and that's what I did. It's in there now. Yeah. All right. And then just mix it together. So now we're going to do the dry ingredients. Um, I already prepped everything, but I'll tell you how much of each I got. So for the oats, just plain oatmeal, dry oatmeal. Um, that was two and a half cups. And then we have our flour, which was two cups. And then here we have uh, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and also a teaspoon of salt. But on the salt, I actually added a little bit less of a teaspoon. So it was probably like, what? Like and you use three... kosher salt. Yes. Right? Um, so it was probably like three quarters of salt, just cause I like mine a little less salty. And I also use salted butter. So that would add into the, there you go. the salt. <clears throat> All right, so now we're just gonna mix it together. You can just use a spoon um, just to mix it all together because it is dry. And that would be a spatula, which is the French word for spoon, right? Is it now? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. It's, the French call it a spatula. Uh-huh. Une spatula, is that right? Yes. You're our French expert. Uh-huh. So you just so, put it all together and mix it? Yep, just mix it together. Mm. That looks like a breakfast cereal. <laughs> Could you put milk in there and eat it for breakfast? It wouldn't taste very good. 
You know how many people said something the other, yes, the other remember the other day with the Bella's uh, special chicken? Uh -huh. When I made that crack about the mustard. You know how many? Oh, you know how many people are like saving it? Yeah. You know how many people said? What? You Don't knew do I was that. kidding, right? Yeah. He jokes about stuff like that all the time. <laughs> That's why we worry about him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now it's all mixed together, um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to add it into the wet mixture about like a cup at a time so it mixes in slowly um yeah <clears throat> the pot. all right so you add in about a cup at a time and you don't have to i just kind of eyeball it because yeah so just like a slow Kind of mixing it in. And this recipe usually makes a lot of cookies, depending on like the size that you, you know, form the balls into. It usually makes like around. 30 for me. Just like standard cookie size? Yeah, like, like a, a about, kind of like in your palm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like three, four inches across, maybe cookie size, yeah. something like that. Three, four inches. Well, you put you put the little balls in the, well, I guess we'll see. Because yeah, they we'll, fall we'll down see. and we'll settle, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, so add in just some more. That looks delicious already. <laughs> Does the camera guy get a taste spoon? Of the cookie dough? Sure. <laughs> yeah, in our family, I know people are going to comment about this, but we like the cookie dough. It's kind of a, what's the word? Tradition? Well, no. Well, yeah. Special treat? Yeah. At the end of it, I always like take off one of the little mixture thingies and give it to my mom because I know she's gonna the ravishing Mrs. Ritter because I know she always wants one just a little bit and then my brothers they're like vultures when it comes to this especially William and Benjamin so because I know Nathan used to always make chocolate chip cookies right yeah his his i don't recall his being as quite as good as yours are oh okay <laughs> well it's because i have another a secret up my sleeve oh well, i can't wait to hear we'll it we'll get to hear later oh <laughs> i don't know how many people know about it but i heard it from well my mom heard it from one of our old good family friends so i don't know how many people know about it is this Miss Allison? Yeah. Oh, she is. She was a She's, master baker. Yeah. You gonna tell them about Miss Allison's baker. cakes? <laughs> <laughs> um, I always were. Oh, they were so good. They're so like decadent and just. Oh. But um, yeah, she always made cakes that were so good. Her chocolate cake, especially, and um. I don't know. Would she just give cakes to us, or just like she she did? She knew your mama. Occasions. She knew your mama liked uh, liked uh, the cake. So yeah. she, I think if she so, was making one and had some leftover, she would she would kick some our way. Yeah. So because her cakes were so good, my mom um, <laughs> she would kind of hide the cakes. I I, and, I, like, I was all. <laughs> She would hide If somebody she... opened the the refrigerator, she'd be like, hey, don't from, be getting that cake. From upstairs, she would hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I remember one time for one of my birthdays, I think it was my birthday, someone's birthday, she made um, like a Barbie cake. You know, one that the cake was like the skirt part. That was your birthday. Of, okay. Yeah. The skirt part of her dress. Uh-huh. I remember that being like one of the best cakes I've ever had. Yeah. So. 
Yep, that was your. Uh, now we're just gonna so add. That the must rest have been this. your fourth birthday. Gotta get all that. Goodness. Fourth birthday. I think it was. Oh my. So that's all of it, huh? Yeah, that's the rest of it. So I don't know how many times it took, but that was just about gotta five or six. Yeah, get that all in. Slowly but surely. And remember to get from the bottom, because I see that a lot. Yeah. Where you get like packed not getting pockets bumps. of uh, dry stuff on the bottom. That's yeah, so you just got to It's pretty thick. work it in. Yeah, the oatmeal makes it very thick. Well, I um, guess you want that, right? You don't want them like soupy or anything, right? No, no. So. Because then they'll... Then it'll be like cookie soup. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we're gonna. This is the final step for the dough. Um, we're gonna add in some chocolate chips. Where did I put that? Oh. So it calls for um, the recipe calls for two cups, but I, my family. I like the chocolate, but my mom doesn't like a like a goopy like mess. So we like to add a little less chocolate, especially for the ravishing Mrs. Ritter. So um, how much are you gonna put in? So it's about like a cup and a half that so I. So it calls for two, do. but you it put in a cup. It calls for two, but I put in a cup. And these are what kind of? Just regular Toll House semi-sweet uh, semi chocolate chips. Right. I guess you. I mean. The recipe calls for this, but I guess you could switch it up if you wanted to. Like macadamia, or not macadamia, like white chocolate, mm. maybe. But this is what the recipe calls for. Mm. So. What about dark chocolate? That's maybe. what I would go with. Maybe. Mm. maybe. That's one, right? That's one. The cup. beauty of those is always if you drop one, you know, you can you get to eat it. That's what I just did. Oh, and we saw it too. Busted. You saw it here, folks. <laughs> All right. So again, I just kind of eyeball it. Um, yeah. There's really not a mis not a wrong answer. Yeah, because this chips, isn't is like it? yeah, it's not a yeah. <laughs> I guess if you wanted to, you don't have to add chocolate chips if you're not a huge chocolate person. Because I know some people just don't like chocolate. Well, that would be. Oatmeal. So what? I wonder. Um, Just oatmeal cookies. If you put, or what about raisins? You can do that. Chocolate chip raisins. That's too. the cookie. I've never been a good, uh, like, a favorite. That's never been a favorite of mine. Oatmeal raisin. But no. oatmeal chocolate chip. The chocolate makes it. What if you did chocolate chip and raisin? What do you think about that? You can do that. Yeah. So I'm just add, uh, mixing it. You can use a spoon too or a spatula, but it's easier for me to just mix it like this. Uh oh, maybe I added too much chocolate chips. My mom you might have to go up to level two <laughs> and on the blender. No, nah, it up to level it's two, good. Captain. It's good. She cannot take any more. <laughs> that was All right. Star Trek. Ah, uh, Scotty. Scotty. So you're you're just kind of scraping off the sides and yeah, and, and it's so, mixed. You're just getting all the chocolate chips all yeah. through the dough, mm -hmm. right? So you don't have like a yeah pocket of chocolate chips so, down the bottom. Yeah, they're all mixed in, and now I just because a lot of it sticks to the little mixer thing, so I just kind of put it on high, yeah. and get all that dough off, and then Sweet. the leftovers just for eating. Ah, very nice. All right, so this is the secret that um, oh, it's just key to the overall success. <laughs> so um, after we get all the dough done um, and after it's like that, we are going to put it in the fridge for like 30 minutes. But actually the longer you put it and leave it in there, the better that it'll be. And it's also easier for to form like the little balls when you put them on the cookie sheet. Um, but if you're in a rush, um, I found that if you just put them in the freezer, that works too, but I usually leave it in the fridge just because... What would happen if you just put it right now and put it on there? That'd be would fine, it, it just, but I like, just... 
flatten out too much, wouldn't stiffen up and you know what I mean? Would they run? Maybe. I mean, no. I've just never, you never have, I've never had to deal with okay. this secret of mine. So this so, dough you, you keep in the refrigerator. Yeah. And then for like 30 minutes and it also, and if go you, <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm... If you, if you like, want to make the dough a previous day and then make it another day. If like you have guests or something, um, that works too. Good. That was my next question. So, um, yeah. Um, but I mean, if you don't have time to put it in the refrigerator, it works too. It's just, it's easier for me to form the, the cookie dough okay. you know, into little balls. And I just, I don't know, maybe it's just my mind, but I think it's always tasted better. And that's what Miss Allison always said to put it in the fridge. So awesome. So we're just going to put it in the fridge for like 30 minutes or until it's chilled. Um, and then we're going to put it into the oven for 350, I believe. But it, if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself. So um, 30 minutes and then we'll Good. be right back. All right, so we're back and uh, we finished chilling them. It was about like 45 minutes um, until they were chilled. And if it needs to be longer, then just leave it in there longer. Um, so I rolled up some of the, the dough. Um, and each of them is about like a spoonful of that. Just kind of a... That's a big... And then you kind of roll it a little bit. And it's about um, like an inch ball. It says in the recipe medium balls, so... Um, and then we preheated the oven for 350 and they're going to go in there for, it says on the recipe, 10 minutes, but I like to leave them in a bit longer and I'll, I'll let you know how long that is just because I don't like my cookies very gooey and recipes, I found that recipes tend to, um, tend to leave the cookies a bit gooey. So I like to have them a bit more firm. Like potato chip crisp? No, no. not burnt. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be back when they're done. And uh, yep. All right, so the cookies are done and they actually took around 20 minutes for me to cook. Um, but that's just my preference just because I like them a little more, you know, firm and uh, not as not so gooey um, so it took like five minutes for them to cool and now let's give it a taste oh I can't wait <laughs> mm. so this a little more firm then you than, want to try uh, some? the canna is it mm -hmm. all right mm, the oats are good that's yeah. delicious Bella so there's our uh, pot belly oatmeal and chocolate chip cookies. Um, I hope you enjoy them. And how, how, should, I, how should I end this? You need to like, yeah, you got to come up with a way to say it. So this is Bella saying. Au du? Oh, wait, no, au revoir. Because au du is yeah. like a final. Au revoir? Okay. Au revoir okay. for now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell. I know I said that already, but just uh -oh, make sure that, you do that, it. That was the jingle bell for Christmas carols. No, jingle okay. Bell. <laughs> All right. All right. This Bye, is Bella.